Hey Greg, will a hat like this make us look cool? I'm afraid not, but a drink like this will. Caddy cocktails, from the back nine to the backyard. What's up, Kessler? What's up, Travis? Dude, what a great course this is, man. Thanks, appreciate it. Dude, excited to uh, get out here, ask you some fun questions, and uh, tee it up, man. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. You know, uh, tee up in about five minutes. All right. I think you got what it takes to uh, caddy for a schmuck like me. You're gonna have to show me the ropes a little bit, I oh, think. I got you covered, but here, suit up. Oh, bibbing up and everything, oh, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, you Got dude. your work cut out for you today, my friend. All right, show me the way, buddy. Let's show do me the it. Way. Let's do it. Give myself a nice transfusion to loosen up, too. Oh, yeah. Hitting, hitting balls for an hour is overrated. <laughs> this is this is where you where you get it going. Thank yeah. you. Sue makes the best Bloody Mary south of the Mississippi. You make a pretty good transfusion, too. Two seventy that bunker on the right side. Yeah. So you gonna fly that? What do you feel like the wind's doing here? Uh, let's let's take a look at that, Kessler. Let's... All right, you got a little right to left breeze. Okay. Not gonna hurt you too bad. You got a nice little draw. I saw on the range. Yeah. I think we I think we'll get it covered. I'm gonna try and just go down the left side and avoid those bunkers. All right, quiet, please, everybody. Can you can you do something about that music? <laughs> I mean, how am I supposed to? You used to, to with Liv, that? right? Oh, did I have it? Did I have it? Nope, just short. All right. Oh. See, and cause I... So talk to me a little bit about getting into caddying. So you weren't always a caddy and you're caddying for your brother-in-law now on, on yeah, tour, so... but what, what got you started into it and how did that all happen? Um, well, I met him back in 2011 at my college graduation, um, and then I went into medical device sales. He was starting his pro career. My sister was caddying for him. Uh, he would play the uh, Valero Open. I'd kind of go out there and spectate like a normal person. But uh, and then November of 2013 gives me a call. Says, "Hey, man, I need a caddy. You know, six to nine months. What do you think?" And uh, yeah, I said, all right, cool. I'll quit my job in about five minutes. Uh, <laughs> so put my, literally hung up the phone, typed my two weeks notice and, you know, instead of six to nine months, here I am nine years later. All right, 133, just short right of the flag? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it should work a little left if I land it right of it. Or I could go <laughs> way left of it, get up. Catch a piece, there you all go. Right. It's up there. Uphill putt. Oh, let me get that. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. See, now we're talking. Try I'm sitting here living in my own world here. Try and keep these nice courses in good shape. Yeah. You know. get, get that club for you, sir. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, what do you think? What you got here? We got a little uphill. I'm liking about, about a foot and, half, foot and a half out left. Okay. Left to right. I can dig that. Did he do it? Did he do it? Oh, hey, it's good effort. Who's the read, I think? Uh, a little bit of both speed. I think, you know what, your, your, maybe your instincts took over and that, that first uh, Dude, this lineup is, was just right. This course is pure. Right, what other caddy tips do you have for me here? So, I got a lot, a lot of work cut out for me, but. Well, I mean, you're not a four caddy, but there's a couple of useful signs out there okay. if you are in the fairway. Let's say you are four caddying on a hole and your you know your player hits something, you gotta know what, how to tell them. So obviously the number one is safe. Okay. Okay. And then if he goes in the water, you got the gator. Okay. Um, obviously if there's OB or something in the direction, just point to the direction. Um, but the, the most fun one, if and when he pipes a drive, okay. so like when I hit a good drive, you got to hit them with the elephant trunk. <laughs> and if you really want to get into it, you grab the towel and 
<laughs> really <laughs> get after really it. enthusiastic. So, all right. Yeah. Oh, all right. A little toey. Here you go, Kessler. No, I think that's a. <laughs> <laughs> you piped that one pretty good. All right, 155 flag. 155 flag. All right. What is that? Just an easy eight for kinda, you? Kind of. Yeah, it was kind of in between, but I'm thinking I'm closer to the eight. So all your right. instincts, your instincts are what I'm thinking. So. I don't think it'll be short, but. Oh, just on the edge. Ah, there you go. Now, you know what they say, short, long, is caddy's fault, left, right, is coach's fault, swing coach. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, the player's never wrong. So it looks like my caddy. Player's never wrong. Looks like my caddy and my coach are in trouble right now. <laughs> and if, uh, if the player's attitude is shit, it's the wife's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the wife's fault. Always is. <laughs> Heads up, I could get y'all. Y'all are totally in play over there. <laughs> ah. See, you know, as a caddy, you don't want to line it up because then if it misses, you're totally 100% to blame. Yeah. You got to be kind of vague sometimes, especially with guys like me. You say, ah, oh, it looks like it's breaking a little left. <laughs> and then let them decide how much it's breaking left because then you still get plausible deniability if it doesn't go in. I mean, a little, little downhill, pretty level. I would say like you're inside, uh, inside left. Okay. Great read. Great read. <laughs> All right, long, long par three, uphill. You know, flags on the right side. I think your uh, right to left shot shape. You end up a little left here. I think it's a safe spot, right? One hundred percent agree with you. Oh yeah. Right to left, like you said. And you already know my game. Just shy of the green, but. There you go. So you get the call, you type up your two week notice, and you go work with Pat for a few months and get ready. That first year or two, like, what was a moment where you like, was there a moment where you just like totally effed up or something where you were like, oh man, like. There was there definitely plenty of times. Um, one that haunts me to this day, we played Congressional in 2014, had the lead with nine holes left. They had that par three with the water, drops down. Yeah. Um, we hit six iron, and I thought it was gonna be plenty, and he dumps it in the soup, when I guess I should've given him the five iron, but we were worried about it going long. But honestly, with his short game, who cares? Just cover the water and get it over there. Like you said over here, short doesn't look very good. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's something that I think maybe if I had a little bit more, you know, I go back and think if I had a little bit more uh, time in the game, I might have just given him the five and said, just baby the five, it'll be plenty. Yeah. Are you in a position now in your relationship with him to like, hey, hit the five, even if he's not comfortable with it, like, can you make that absolute decision? Like, no, go for I it. I feel like he'll listen to me if I'm, if I really push it, but also you don't want to push too hard because I'd rather you hit the six and be super confident with it mm -hmm. than have any doubt in hitting the five. Because if you have any doubt and you end up not hitting it very well, then it's just thinking, oh, I should have gone with my instincts. Yeah. And sometimes with those guys, the best caddy, the best caddy advice you can do is when not, when, when to stay out of the way. Yeah. It's pretty much right at it, huh? Yeah, pretty much. It's, uh, you know, you can get pretty aggressive. It's a little uphill, but I might work out. Sit. All right. Almost dunked it. Yeah. Well, downhill pace. I think it's inside left, not like uh, not edge, just inside left. My inside left or your inside? Your inside left. left. I got it right this okay. time around. Okay. All right. I mean, it's all pace, though. I mean, if you're gonna baby it, then maybe it is on the edge. I knew it was quick. Oh well. That's my fault. That was my fault. I'm gonna I'm gonna own up to that one. All right, Travis. So this is a big factor. If you're gonna caddy for a guy like me, you definitely got to keep a beer kind of cold, but not too cold, but not too warm, in the event of shotgun and a beer. Okay. I can do that. Uh, speaking of shotgun, got this little tool here. I'm gonna tee it off, off the beer. We'll do shotgun together. I mean, that's amazing. I've never <laughs> seen anything like that in my life. <laughs> 
But I'm glad, see, you're basically knocking two birds with one stone. Not only are you teeing the ball up for me, but you're already prepping the beer for the shotgun. I feel like I could end up hitting this beer can about 10 yards, 20 yards in front of me though. Ah, oh, you're an athlete, you got this. Listen, if I pipe this one, it means I'm gonna have to do this every time. <laughs> you're gonna have to give me this sign. <laughs> Absolutely. We might create a monster here. There we go. Oh man. Cheers. Cheers. Took you long enough. Woo! Jeez. It's been a minute since I've done one of those. I think my caddying skills are gonna definitely uh, increase after I'll that. I'll tell you this, my beer chugging skills are way better than my caddying skills. <laughs> 253 off the shot tee. See, there's that left again. Looks like you got some real estate over there. Yeah, it'll be in the rough. Not so, too bad. I know a lot of players, well, anyone in life has superstitions, but what superstitions does Patrick have out on the course that you have to like manage or maintain? So, I mean, to say he's not superstitious would be a total lie. And to say he is superstitious is kind of an understatement. Um, it comes down to sometimes the meals we're eating. So we shot my first win, which was my second week on the bag, by the way, it's pretty funny. <laughs> wow. He shot 63, 63, 63. And every day we ate Chipotle. Because after that first 63, he's like, we're going back to Chipotle. Yeah. By the end of the week, I was kind of tired of Chipotle, not going <laughs> to lie, even though I love it. It's a yeah. staple. Um, and then just a couple things as far as like sometimes the colors he wears on each day or, you know, how many tees he has in, in his pocket. Yeah. Uh, only plays threes. So only, the, every ball he plays is a three. Okay. Red dot. Um, so nothing too crazy out there. Yeah. You know, I mean, there might be some guys that say like, hey, you can't be wearing black socks with those white shoes, Travis. Like, <laughs> no wonder why I chunked the three wood. And, I mean, you're killing me here. That is you're a fashion me. pope. Can you please, pope can you please take care of that? <laughs> take the damn socks off. All right, Travis. So it's a big thing on I'm looking forward to this one here. You get a lot of amateurs that get in some bad lies, and one, they just don't know what the hell they're doing when it comes to a good rake job. On on down. All right. All right, a little uphill putt. So All see, right. number one thing is, like, even though you're my caddy, you want to piss off the caddy, walk right here and go, man, that was a good shot. Whatever, walk over here. That's just the biggest asshole move you could do. So you want to come- Because I just created twice the amount of work. What you want to do is you want to hit that shot and you want to walk right back and almost retrace your steps. All right, so One, to make your life easy so that you can rake this bunker and then you can get up there and get a read for me. So you're sharing a little player etiquette here too yeah. as well. So but I've seen this a little bit where like you're raking, but then the guys turn it over and kind of smooth it out. Is that kind of the play? Yeah, so what I do, and I'll go ahead and grab it from you so we can get this going. <laughs> so I flatten it out first, right? Okay. And it's all about, it's kind of a finesse thing, right? So I flatten it all out, get it nice and smooth. And if you can rake it towards the flag, you're doing really good. But then I try and just lightly pull it back towards me. And that gives you a nice, pretty smooth finish. And as you can see here, if these guys behind us end up in this bunker, they're probably gonna thank me for taking my time on it because they're probably bitching back there saying, man, this guy's slow playing us. Maybe buy you a drink at the but 19th hole or something. This is definitely a hot spot, as you can see, for a lot of these guys. Yeah. And even though, like I said, that's my B job, I studied in Japan in a Chinese or in a Japanese sand garden for a couple years just to get that down. <laughs> just kidding. Dude, I appreciate you having us out here and uh, congrats on all the success that you've had. Uh, Thank you. Just this year alone and just in your career. I mean, uh, I imagine that the pinnacle of your career has been the Masters, you know, winning that at Augusta. Is an incredible moment for you guys in 2018. Yeah, I feel like, you know, that's a Super Bowl in golf, right? I mean, if there's, if someone told me there's one major you could win as a caddy, which one are you picking? It would totally be Augusta, yeah. 100%. Yeah. And, um, it was kind of surreal and I think I had to wake up for about two weeks, keep thinking it was a dream until, you know, I, once you get, you know, once you have the jumpsuit and everything in your house and you start realizing like, no, that actually happened. Yeah. So to this day, uh, incredible and 
it almost is nerve wracking rewatching any highlights from it. Yeah. So yeah, it brings oh. me back. No, it was incredible, man. I mean, you have a great partner in crime. You guys keep killing it. Um, your epitome of the caddy. I mean, dude, defend your player to the end of the day. I mean, you got the President's Cup moment. Yeah. And you're like, don't mess with my and boy. Hey, like, remember, he's, yeah. he's my, he was my brother before I was his caddy. So, no, I know, but dude, you know, that's what a caddy so should be on and off goes. the course, yeah, man. So, absolutely. Right no, you're, you're killing it, man. Appreciate you having us out here to, to hey, hit it around a little bit. So Thanks for helping me yeah. out today. You know, yeah. good reading. Yeah. I'm, I was really impressed. That's I think, all I can bring in. I'd say you were three out of three on the lines. I capitalized on one out Except of three. So for my dyslexia so on the tax side. I mean, 33%, <laughs> you know, conversion's pretty good if you ask me. All right, I'll tee it with you on a couple of these holes coming yeah, in. Yeah, let's fun, do it. So. Let's have some fun.